Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to create a field survey using Survey123, an ArcGIS online map, and an ArcGIS dashboard. It's going to go pretty fast, but I want you to get the idea of two things. A, that the tools are interconnected, and B, they are very approachable and doable. So let's start with Survey123. I'm going to create a blank survey. I'm going to give it some metadata and a thumbnail so I can find it more easily in the future and then I'm basically going to use the drag and drop tools that are in the survey 123 design interface so for example here I'm designing a litter survey I'm creating a how many total pieces of litter are found within one square meter of this location and then where is the location so I'm going to add a map I'm going to do it for a university campus, so I'm going to zoom in that map. I'm going to change it to a satellite image so that the people filling out the survey will be able to go right to their campus. And then a question on, do you have a photograph? And then what kinds of litter are found in this place? Glass, plastic, paper, cans, etc., bottles. I'm going to add a multiple choice set of questions right there. And then I'm going to drag these questions around, and I'm going to symbolize the survey so that it's pleasing and I'm going to go ahead and publish that survey. It creates an editable feature service. I also get a QR code that I'm going to email to myself along with a short link. What does the user have the capability of doing? In this case, just I just want them to add records to my survey. I'm going to test the survey out on my phone now, and I'm going to see if that works. I'm going to go to that QR code or, or that link and upload a photo of litter and make sure it works great it's working fine so that's a test on my phone in this case an iPhone you could test it on Android or even on a tablet as well out in the field okay so that's looking really good now I've got the form inside my ArcGIS online zone and I'm gonna make sure that it's shared publicly as you just saw me do okay now that I've gone to the metadata and made sure that that feature service is able to be shared publicly I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm going to make sure that the feature layer is public as well. I've got my survey right there, and I have the link to it. Let's analyze it now that I've collected some data into it. I've got some data points as well as a couple of uh, metrics, bar charts, etc., that I can look at. So I'm just making sure that I could su su successfully add features into that survey. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and er open that feature service in the ArcGIS online map viewer and symbolize it based on the number of pieces of litter I don't like that default range so I'm gonna adjust that a little bit and I also don't like a, an orange circle so I'm gonna change it to a something that says hey this is a problem litter is a problem what can we do about it encouraging people to take action about something you're mapping and analyzing I'm gonna adjust the range for those symbols and then I'm now going to save the map so that other people can examine it other people can look at it. The power of WebGIS and ArcGIS Online is to be able to share this. So I'm going to share this map publicly so that you and others can look at it. Great. So now I'm going to go back to my form, and you can see that in my end screen, I want to be able to have the user say, ooh, I want to see the results on the map. So I'm going to insert the link for my ArcGIS Online map. I'm going to republish that. And so now I've got the form, the survey, I've got a web map, and now I'm going to create a dashboard. A dashboard is a web mapping application that gives you a real-time feed. You've all seen the JHU COVID dashboard. My dashboard gets one feed and one feed only, and that is from my survey. So I've created my map, and now I'm creating the dashboard. Ooh, look at that. I'm also going to move the content into the same folder for good data management. That's important when you're using GIS. Understand where all your elements are located, locally and then online. Now I'm creating the dashboard. I'm creating a indicator, giving it a title, total number of survey points added thus far, litter points added thus far. I've got two at the moment. I'm going to make it a nice green symbol because I'm concerned about the environment, so I'm making this all green. And so now I'm going to add an element. And what else can I add here? I can add a lot of different elements here, but I'm going to keep this dashboard pretty simple. And I'm going to be creating a pie chart here. Okay, so now I've got a pie chart indicating the kinds of litter that could be found there. And I'm also going to create a bar chart showing me how many pieces of litter were found at each location. So I get a distribution there. So I'm creating a dashboard. 
I've got my web map there where my points are located and as people populate the survey this dashboard and the web map will update automatically which is another powerful thing about WebGIS. Wow you've got a lot of capability I'm adjusting the colors here a little bit to make it a little bit more pleasing it's all about the communication and how people are understanding your information here that you're putting in this dashboard and you can see I can drag and drop these elements around in my dashboard fascinating and powerful and fairly straightforward and easy to do what else can I put in here I can put a ooh what about this what if I put a legend there so yeah now I've got a legend in my dashboard nice so now I've got five elements and along with my image I've got an image in there now too so I've got six elements in my dashboard again keeping it pretty simple and I'm gonna adjust this ever so slightly so the symbology and the and the legibility is enhanced I'm liking that pretty well once I'm done I'm going to go ahead and save this dashboard and I'm going to share it I have to in dashboards actually go to my ArcGIS online content and I'm gonna make sure that everybody can look at it. I'm gonna make it public there so that people can fill out my survey see the map and see the dashboard fascinating also I'm going to add some metadata and I'm also going to change the end screen of my survey so that people can see the results in the dashboard right away too sort of instant gratification for the people filling out my litter survey and I'm gonna save those choices and republish it looking at how this looks so far the dashboard the survey and the web map I could and that's the subject of another video create a story map that tells the results of my dashboard and I could do that as well okay everything's looking good my survey my map and my dashboard thanks for being with me 